Excuse me, Shay. How can you contribute four? Oh, four thousand total. I was like, there's a cap. There's a cap of two thousand points per stream. How did you do this? Also, hi, Shay. Yeah, look at that plant. 23 different waterings? That's good. So, yeah, I have the Magikarp Lego and I have Minecraft Legos, but I think I am going to start with um the parkour pyramid hi segment welcome in y'all really do want to see undertale and it's a game that i know i will like i just haven't had an opportunity to play it until now but yeah i, th I think you guys want undertale just a little bit Oops, that music may have been a little quieter than normal. Thank you for the host. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Gonna lurk while you play Final Fantasy, but you love the parkour pyramid. I appreciate the lurk. I really do. Uh, I started playing the parkour pyramid again. I wanted to get some good footage for a, an upcoming channel trailer of like really smooth parkour gameplay. And I didn't want to like keep playing my current playthrough. So I like cop, I cloned it is what I did. So we're gonna see if this works. I really hope it does. It at least loaded me in the right spot when I tried it last. Okay, we are in the right spot. This is, in fact, where we left off. How is the audio? Thank you for the host, Gwynny. <laughs> ah, yes, a clip of you and Maddie murdering each other in It Takes Two. That is excellent. Parkour. 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 Thank you for doing the, sh oh, the shout out, Shay. So if you are doing vacation things, feel free to lurk, leave, do whatever you gotta do on your little vacation. I hope you have an amazing time, Shay. <sighs> also, uh, Gwynny, th this is completely optional, but there is a channel point redemption thing uh, that's a host alert, it's tied to a counter. So it tracks how many times you've hosted the channel and I've started incentivizing it. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think at five, it'll be like a little post-it note doodle pencil and paper. Yeah, I couldn't tell, like some channels have host rewards if like they get to like five total people hosting or like 10 total people hosting. I don't know if I'm smart enough to figure out how to do that. So I figured, you know what? I can do this. I can thank individual people for hosting and maybe that will just make more people host in general. Just chilling right now. That sounds lovely. <laughs> I kind of want a music playlist because it's not playing anything right now and that makes me sad. So smash and chill it is. You gotta have music. You really, you do. Minecraft pork core used to be your jam? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, Java Bedrock. This is a uh, parkour pyramid map that was made and I downloaded it. And I am planning on doing, there's a parkour cylinder, a parkour spiral. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh. 
Parkour! That's a tough one. Let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. It's a little loud in my ears still. I mean, granted, you don't inherently need to hear the running noises, but I do kind of feel like I can hear the click. Master volume's up. Oh, well, that would do it. Music is set to off. Hold on a sec. Really, my Minecraft uh, audio is just a little bit low. Volume mixer. No, Minecraft is set to max volume. Guess I just gotta turn open my headphones. But yeah, if the music plays too infrequently and you wanna listen to something else, let me know. I think we're supposed to go down. This is my first time playing this map. So some people who have played this map before know it inside and out. Wait. Okay, I was afraid I went the wrong way there because the map is not super forgiving. Uh, this map is just called Parkour Pyramid. I can look up the name of the creator in a little bit. It starts with an H. That's not where we're going, is it? No, that's, that's not. Is it the roof over there? Yeah, I think that's where we want to get to. Whew! But um, this is a map in unmodded Java Minecraft. And it's actually very cool what they've done in the map itself. Like, if you land on the quartz or you try to, like, skip to a part of the pyramid that is not where you're supposed to go, you get struck by lightning. Oh, that was a slime block glitch. I've seen a lot of uh, parkour racers do that on purpose. I promise you mine was not on purpose. Because, as you could tell, I should not have been able to jump that high. Parkour! Pew! It just feels good. It feels really good. It's such a fun map. And I don't think any of the parkour has been particularly, like, pro level. It's just there's so much of it. Aw, that was really dumb. I like didn't get my sprint boost until the last second. Is that where I'm going? I don't think I can make that. Oh, there's a slime. Well, that's why they let you retry some of the jumps. I bonked my head. Boing. Stressful. Where am I going? Am I going down there? I guess I'm going down here. Oops, nope. I gotta go up this way first. Parkour. Parkour. That felt wrong. It looks right, but it felt wrong. You guys grateful for the Friday? Hi, Judge Soulbane. Welcome in. Huh, oh, beans. I 
I feel like I'm getting close to the end. We uh, switched from getting over it back to this and completed some more of this. Thank you, Shay. Oh, beans. I was lurking in Soul Bane's stream earlier. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? There we go. <sighs> Boing. Oh man. I kind of knew what, like, I left the block to make that jump and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna make it. I am not gonna make it. It's not happening. But this is my first time through the map, so I'm okay with making little mistakes. It'd be one thing if I had, like, raced this map over and over again and was, like, actually speedrunning it to be like, oh, pfft. What a noob mistake. But no, I'm okay with it. Where am I going? Ooh. Slow and steady. Mom's spaghetti. Where is the Minecraft music? I turned the music volume up and it's still not here. So you know what? We'll turn it off again and we'll get the playlist going again. Cause I want music. Let me know how that is. Cause to me, it's a smidge loud. Hi, Sari. Welcome in. We're doing some chill parkour tonight. Can I get an F in chat? I'm doing all right. I just fell and had to go back and start this entire level over. I was at the end. I was at the end. Oh well, I'll get really good at this level. I salute you. I know I'll make it back. This map is fairly forgiving, but there's just a lot of places like that where it's built in that you're you're expected to fall and lose a lot of progress. It's just the way the map is built. Like right here, you could fall down and go back to the beginning. I hope you're doing well though, Sari. It's very good to see you. My favorite song from the playlist. Ow. Dang it, stop that. There we go. See, look at this, look at this. You are expected to fall back to the very beginning. It's so mean. You could bonk your head right here on this fence. Brutal. Boing, boing. Just feels good. Parkour makes me feel good.
I didn't know about that one. I've been watching some of, uh, I've been watching a Minecraft parkour pyramid speedrunner, and like he knows the exact route that you can take, like that the game will let you fall and do a shortcut without killing you. And it's just like, oh, I didn't know that. In this particular case, I just saw the bales of hay and said, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. it up. Now I'm salty. this again. Oh, this section was weird. I don't really like it. There we go. wants me to go over there. Oh, beans. Very unfortunate. Take me. I'm too hot. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. So you need the height that you can only get by jumping on that slime block. Oh, come on, from the roof. That's the, always the most frustrating thing, is when you had it, and then you goof up right at the end, and then you no longer have it. Slow down. See, now I'm frustrated, and I just wanna beat this part of the level but I'm gonna make silly mistakes because I'm frustrated. I did it again. I keep bonking my head on that slab. Now we can still beans this up. We've done it before. Just like that. Okay, what am I doing wrong then? Because I lost like all of my momentum that time. And I thought that was exactly what it wanted me to do. I like brushed my forehead against that block and then I was like mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop it I 
I feel like it, so it wants me to go that way, I think. No, I am dumb. I'm just dumb. There we go. I'll be nicer to myself. I'm silly. Well, that's new. Oh, it's, um, glass panes. I'm gonna cry if it wants me to thread the needle at any point. Well, I can't recover this. No tears. Only parkour. Parkour! See, what I think I fell for there was like a red herring path. That it had that thing set up perfectly to make you think, is that where I'm supposed to go? And actually, no, that is an impossible jump. Parkour. Parkour. Boing. Ow. Oh, you have to do that. Okay. How do I... Mm. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. <whistles> Boing. Playing on mouse and keyboard would be impossible for you. I'm just, I actually do not like Minecraft on a controller at all, but that's because I feel like I do more building stuff. So I actually do play this mouse and keyboard. I'm pretty much constantly holding uh, control, which is the sprint button. Because a lot of these jumps are not possible without sprinting. Oh, that's a hard one. Hmm. There we go. Parkour. So you, you just, you really just need to yell parkour. And then you have infinite power. Where am I going? Where am I going? What is this? Am I going underwater? I am. Feels really weird. I think you need to get on the fence. You did. Guys, I'm really on the fence about whether I liked that or not.
I don't know what happened there. I definitely thought I had it. Boing. I want to say that fence tricks I am not that good at. A diagonal slime block. Oh, come on. I hit shift or right, control. Sometimes if you don't hit it like at the right time, the game will not give you the little like sprint lurch and you need that. Excuse me? What happened? <laughs> Slime got no jiggle jiggle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a new Mario sound alert. For when you have to go. Remember when I said I hate fence tricks? I I still mean it. Feels like the final level. This is as high as I have been in this entire pyramid. Like we're going up and we're kind of reusing a lot of <gasps> Yo We did it Isn't this cool? Six hours! Rank D. Not the worst rank. Yeah, rank S, which the, the person who introduced me to this map consistently gets rank S. It's 30 minutes. 30 minutes of just doing this whole map. Granted, there's a lot of skips that you can do. So yes, the map was made by Hilka who has other maps, there is a parkour spiral that's pretty much like this here at the very top, but it's the whole map. It's pretty big. Let's go. Yeah, this map is completely free to download. Um, supposedly, you can download it for Bedrock. I just don't know how. Honestly, it it didn't take me long once we got into the spiral section to be like, this kind of feels like we're really going up. And it feels like we're seeing a lot of uh, motifs being repeated from earlier in the map. It was a really well done ending segment.
Let's go. I'm pretty sure I can beat six hours. I don't have to try again right this second, but I'm pretty sure I can beat six hours, you know? Feels doable, feels really doable. But that being said, I feel like I kind of want to play one of the other maps next. You know, like maybe, maybe if you didn't see the parkour pyramid, you'd like to see it someday. This is the part that I was like racing through uh, last night when I was trying to get footage of me being good at parkour. Because I mean, like I had done this part already, so I knew where to go. That being said, it's still very easy to forget where you're actually supposed to go. So uh, for those of you who saw a lot of the map, what did you think? This segment is still the bane of my existence. This jump gets me. I think it's something about jumping off of the red blocks onto the purple ones that I just like misjudge where I'm supposed to go. Oh, beans. That's not a way I usually fall. This map is just like, it's visually satisfying to play and to watch. Like, I was kind of mesmerized watching myself, like, watching the playback footage of myself. It's just satisfying. I'm sure it's even more satisfying to watch someone who doesn't fall into the lava and uh, self-immolate, but... You gotta start somewhere. Now, this jump here is mean. Also, I actually, last night when I was playing, I had these bubbles yeet me out of here like a geyser and then back down here, which um, means you have to do the level over. And I was like, well, that really bites. Are you ready? Boing. Oh, <laughs> I was not ready. Boing. It was I who was not ready. playing risky right now. I just, I want to go fast. Like Sanic, gotta go fast. <laughs> Oop. Bad jump. I don't think there's anything in here. There's not. Really, this map is amazing. If you are at all into Minecraft parkour, even just trying it out, I feel like this is a good starting point. The snake blocks are apparently one of the bigger hurdles that people either get over or they don't. But there's still a good portion of map to go before you even hit the first snake block. Boing. Ow. The snake blocks are so mean. They're apparently very easy, like, if you know exactly which way they're supposed to be going. And I mean, I can at least confirm the speedrunner I watched do this knows them to a T. So, like, they never really trip him up because he knows exactly where they're going, where they're coming from. Get out of the lava! Come on! Okay, I was like, I think I can save this. Oh, 
I can't remember. I might be getting close to the first snake block again. Like, look at how much quicker I'm going through this already, and it is the second time. Well, can't win them all. Aw, oh, beans. I think visually the snake blocks can be pretty intense. I kind of hope that there's some sort of like setting adjustments you can do if they are too much for your eyes to follow. Ah, oh, beans. I knew I had too much momentum there and I couldn't stop. What? I disagree. I disagree. So now I have a couple of options. Uh, I've got Minecraft Legos and a Magikarp Lego. Both of which are solid options. I kind of wanted to do the Minecraft one with my mom present because it was the one she got me for my birthday. And they went out to eat tonight. I also could pick up more Rune Factory Frontier because I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel like playing Rune Factory Frontier pretty much all night yesterday. It was it was on my mind. Hi Joey. Welcome in. Boing. We're doing some uh, Minecraft parkour pyramid. We actually beat the map tonight. So now I'm just kind of like idly going back through it while I mentally think of what I want to do next. Thank you, Shay. And chat, if you have a preference of Legos, of uh, Rune Factory Frontier, of just me doing more of this, or maybe of me downloading the, uh, no, oh, man, the parkour spiral. Let me know. I could do a poll. It's always the danger of these impromptu streams is like, I, I didn't want to schedule a parkour stream because I knew I didn't have that much left of the map. But it's very good to see you, Joey. I hope you're having a lovely Friday. I lost my momentum there, and I don't know how. know if I was going to save that. is going well oh no you're good Th yeah these parkour worlds are very chill i really look at them as visual asmr like they just make my eyes feel good watching 
Minecraft Steve running nonstop and jumping and bouncing and turning and like, oop, not like that though. And of course, uh, if you 100% know the exact map, if you've sped run this before, like it's easier, but. Favorite thing to have on the background of uh, Reddit readings and TikToks. It's, it feels good. My YouTube video finished. We'll go here. But yeah, I got a D rank on my um, first attempt because it took six hours, but I'm not complaining. Aw, sad. Oh, you're starting a Nuzlocke of Inclement Emerald. I'm going to presume that is a um, ROM hack. That sounds really cool. I always lose energy on Nuzlocke's and part of it is that yes, I don't, I don't wanna say goodbye to my Pokemon that perish because of my own neglect. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why did I take damage there? Pokemon Radical Red, it's like that, but Emerald, okay. I remember this is a long level, so I'm trying to be careful here. Because there's still room to goof it up. And guess what? There's still room to goof it up. Boing. I kind of just wanted to go until I found the first snake block again. And then I will come up with something to do next, I promise. I'm also giving, I'm buying a little bit of time for Momdria. Because it's the Minecraft Lego set she got me. Finally get to catch a build stream. I love the build streams. Parkour. Oh. I think it's always like, it's funny and sad when I finally go and I yell parkour and I mess up the jump. Your eyes are on a certain Transformers Lego. Mine are still on that Super Mario 64 question mark block set. And I've told myself once the Kirby comic for charity is finished, I will buy that set as a little treat for myself. Um, oh, this is mean. But the Kirby comic is actually starting Sunday. So I'm excited for that. We will be drawing a comic live on stream and chat can tell me characters to put in said comic. There will be, oop, dang it. There's a channel point redemption for adding a character cameo that will be made live once more. And we're gonna do this all pencil and paper. Gonna get some nice chill playlists like this one.
Again? That's gotta be the right way, right? Because I feel like we need more height for that slime block. Favorite Pokemon generation, if you have one. Um, I want to say Ruby Sapphire. That was a very, um, it's a game that came out during a formative time. And I really loved all of the starters. And I can't say that about every Pokemon game. The one I have the most hours in is either Diamond and Pearl or, um... X and Y. Didn't really like black and white, didn't really play it that much uh, because I kept getting stuck at like gym leaders. Boing. There we go. And it's funny, I played so much X and Y, but I have to say, not a big fan of the plot of X and Y. It was a bit out there, even for a Pokemon game. Loved the plot of Sun and Moon, but hated playing Sun and Moon because uh, Sun and Moon had that SOS Pokemon mechanic that I'm sure was great for... Oh, come on. I'm sure it was great for shiny hunting, but it was awful for grindy gameplay. And like Pokemon's already kind of a grindy game. And to me, that just made it like almost not fun to play. X and Y was the only set of games you didn't play. I, I liked it because I liked, come on. I liked the uh, world a good bit. Also welcome in Aerobounce. We beat this and now I'm back here doing it again while I wait and see if uh, mom's gonna make an appearance stall. Well, you can retry this section at least. I did eventually go back and beat black and white. It just wasn't sequential. <sighs> Hi, boom. I have to scroll up to read your other message. You didn't give X and Y a fair chance because you played it after Aorus. Okay, that's fair. I did buy the, um, I did buy Omega Ruby, but I didn't play much of it. If you liked Kalos, there's this great place in the world you want to recommend called France. Wow, do tell. Sounds amazing. Why well, was your first mainline Pokemon game? Okay, and you enjoyed it a lot. Like, I mean, I can't say the plot of Pokemon was ever really why you played the game, but X and Y just felt so obscure and out there. Oh, this level again. Thread the needle! <sighs> okay. Streamed X and Y last year and it was pretty fun. I remember those. Because I remember uh, you caught Yveltal and I was like, you're going to name this one after me. <laughs> Wasn't your favorite, but you liked it. I've never streamed a Pokemon game before. And that's why I'm kind of curious to stream Pokemon Scarlet because I feel like it'll make me play through the whole thing. Really? I like never messed up on this jump when I was first here. You liked black and white and black and white too, but gens four and five were the uh, only gens you own the console. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. See, I mean, six hours is a pretty decent time to beat. Parkour! 
Switch games now. Yeah, no, I do know what you mean. There's a witch! Pretty sure I bounce. Boing! We gotta be getting close to that slime block. Or, um, snake block. I'm not trying to hug a cactus. Yeah, I was actually very afraid when I was messing around trying to clone the parkour pyramid map so I could start it over. I was like, oh, please don't mess up my stream file. Please don't mess up my stream file. Cause like, I really, I love the map, but I really didn't want to start it all the way over, you know? Not accidentally. Goodbye. Cruel world. Farewell. Alrighty. Yeah, it's been about an hour since I started streaming. Uh, I feel like we probably beat the map in like a solid 30 minutes. Which is not bad, not bad at all. Huh. I was hoping to do the um, Lego Magic Harp when Kate was around. I mean, obviously I don't have to and she can catch the VOD. It's not supposed to be like an obligation for her to show up for uh, Magic Harp. But I think we will save and quit. And switch over to Legos perhaps. You should play through this map and see what time you can get. Well, see, I was thinking about doing a parkour pyramid race as a charity thing sometime later this year. I'd have to race against another streamer. And here's the kicker. We would play with crowd control on. Meaning the chat can donate money towards the charity. And instead of like donating through Tiltify, you can donate through crowd control and buy crowd control coins. And then like, pretty much do all sorts of things like give someone haste or insta kill someone or yeet the player in some direction that we do not know uh i still i got crowd control working on the parkour pyramid map but the way the map is set up not all of the redeems worked so i'd have to play test it a little bit more but it sounds fun to me I heard squeaking outside. We had some sort of car like stuck on a curb or something. But uh, we have this lovely little Minecraft cave set with a spider and a slime. Looks like fun to me. You don't think you qualify for the uh, is streamer and don't think you can uh, stream and run Minecraft and have crowd control functional at the same time. That's fair. Uh, it did take me a minute to set up crowd control. Uh, and I like, I don't have super powerful internet, so it's not something that I would be able to like uh, host someone else to like join me on the same world. I think we'd have to be in individual worlds, but if you're interested, always an option. Um, what was I gonna say? We do actually have a lot of Minecraft content coming up. Here is the poster. We have uh, Minecraft community 
Community Games Day coming up. Well, night, I guess. I'm going to be playing some Minecraft mini games with you, the viewers, and other streamer friends. And if you have Bedrock Minecraft, you are more than welcome to join. Supposedly, if you have Java Minecraft, you qualify, or like Mojang will send you a copy of Bedrock slash Minecraft for Windows 10, whatever they're calling it now. They'll send you a copy for free because they're just like, you know what? You've bought it on this one platform. We kind of want to give it to you elsewhere. It doesn't work the other way around though. I'm not exactly sure why. But yes, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have, there's some parkour maps. There's gonna be some team games like Rainbow Race or Shopping List where like two teams of three players have to go and race each other to try to collect certain things. And then whoever gets all of them first wins. We did that during the uh, Pridecraft finale and it was a really good time trying to get every single color die. Um, we have Lava Wall, which is like Battleship. We have Drip Leaf Spleef, which is like Hexagon in Fall Guys, except the tiles come back after like three seconds. And you're trying to hit the tiles underneath other people to make them fall. It's a lot of fun. What else? Some parkour maps, some Minecraft mini golf. Really, there's tons of options. After the Minecraft mini games night, I'm looking to speed run, uh, we're starting that map over from scratch so that we can like include the wild update as part of the map and have the caves and cliffs spawn in properly everywhere. So we're gonna be resetting the bedrock map and trying to speed run to get to the ender dragon. Hi mom, you're just in time. We beat the uh, parkour pyramid and so I was moving on to this Lego set. It was the one you got me for my birthday. So I guess it's a little bit like a present for both of us. <laughs> we are trying to get mom those emotes. I am trying to get mom those emotes. Momdria and I have been um, playing raft together and we'll be doing another raft with mom segment on uh, Tuesday. Tuesdays are our raft streams. And Minecraft with Mom will be coming back, but we're waiting for, <laughs> we're waiting for um, the community games and then the map reset. And then if, like, cause it doesn't make sense to keep playing on the map that we know we're resetting, you know? Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna start with baggy number one. I'm surprised Inky's not in here with me. Yeah, we did not actually have that much of the parkour pyramid left. I want to say we beat it in like 30-ish minutes. And then I just kind of ran through a lot of it again for the sake of running through it again. We're getting a little box to dump the Legos in so that they don't make a mess. And then who knows, if this doesn't take long, I might play some Rune Factory? I don't know. There's so many games to play. And then earlier today, I got tagged on Twitter in that meme of like, what games would pick five games you wanna play next? And I'm just like, there's so many. I kind of wanna buy Dinkum for my mom and I to give that one a try. But she's enjoying Raft, so I don't want her to feel like rushed, like, oh, nope, here's a new game we have to enjoy. I'm also ever so slightly torn on Dinkum, just because if they're gonna have a console release after early access, I'm asking myself, do I want 
Stinkum more on Switch? And I, the answer is I, I genuinely do not know. But it looks really good. It's kind of like a mix between a uh, Stardew Valley and an Animal Crossing game. There's lots of building involved. There's lots of survival, crafting, exploring, and it just seems fun. Two friends, they're besties. There's supposed to be a little shovel and a pickaxe. This little box is hindering me. Oh, they're in here. They're in here. I'm not ready to open that yet. Not until I know I'm ready for it. It does look interesting. It, it just, it looks cute. It looks like a game I would enjoy. I don't want to buy it and burn out on it like immediately. But like, there's just, there's so many good games nowadays. Would you prefer if I keep the instruction book out of the shot? Cause I can't really like show you the entire instructions easily and what I'm building. I, I maybe I'll try. I'll do my best. another one of these. There it is. So I'm looking for a thin piece right now. I don't think I have my setup optimized for Legos yet, guys. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. If I had my setup optimized for Legos, I would be buying even more Legos. And that was probably not a thing I need to do. Last time you saw somebody stream Legos, they had the instructions out of shot and a smaller overlay. I remember the Queer Note um, kind of like requesting the instructions be on like as a PNG on the screen somewhere. I have not downloaded these. I know I could QR code, but like I'd rather just focus on you being able to see what I'm building, I think. I also have an interesting top-down camera. Like, if I could figure out how to angle it a bit better, I would, but it's a cell phone. So I am doing what I can with what I got, and I'm okay with that. I do have a bit of Twitch monies that I could put towards a, um, a webcam, because, like, I know I can get it a budget one pretty reasonably this one's too long this is the one I want Thank you. 
You don't remember how many pieces were in a step. Yeah, that's another thing too. It seems to vary pretty greatly from Lego set to Lego set. making a little like cave area with some water I like whistling in case you were new to chat and couldn't tell karaoke i haven't gotten to do it that much i was actually planning on doing like an intentional karaoke segment sometime soon stream everything that went into a Lego build that require a layout large enough to require two monitors to show. Yeah, like, it, it feels like it would be too much. The best I could do to, maybe I can adjust my camera just a little bit here. That way you get, like, not a top-down view, you get to see what I'm doing. I actually haven't seen that happen before in, um, that's the Zaytree chat, um, whatchamacallit, chat bubbles. It, like, it gave up. It was like, nope, I can't fit. But I'm at least able to read the message through. Um, I usually keep my Twitch stream manager up. That way I can see redeems and stuff because otherwise I would be awful at missing those. I'm already sometimes not great at seeing them all. You're gonna play Undertale? Well, we are halfway there. Chat really wants to watch me play Undertale. So if you have any channel points to spare, <laughs> Ooh, 92%. Nice. Yeah, I won a... Well, Fudge won a copy of Undertale in a Zell Shot giveaway stream. And he, he thought it would be a game that I would like, and everyone else has told me it is a game that I would like. Oh, uh, okay. I was looking for the wrong piece. <laughs> well, thank you for doing your check-in, Mom. And in case you did not know, I am currently incentivizing hosting on this channel. So if you host the channel, hold on a sec. Oh, I can do Stardew and Chill. It's a good playlist. Um, if 
you host the channel and uh, do the I hosted alert, it will start keeping track of how many times you have hosted the channel. And like at five times, you get a free post-it note doodle. Um, at ten times, you might get a free little Minecraft statue. There's a there's I haven't fully outlined all of the options, but it's my little way of trying to thank the community who are hosting. It does help the channel greatly. It helps bump me into that um, like Twitch suggested bar. Apparently mom wants to watch me play Undertale now too. This, I, I'm not joking when I say this challenge has not been up for that long. It's been like two days. Hi Chimpkin, sounds good. Thank you for lurking. Ugh, I got an eyelash or something. Yet yeah, chat are spending all of their points on trying to get me to play Undertale. I say trying, it's probably going to work. And it's not a game that I don't want to play. It's just a game that I want to see how much chat wants me to play. Oops. Enjoy your lurk, Chipkin. I almost missed these ones. They're so hidden on the instruction. You like this camera angle better for Legos? I think I do too. Uh, I'll just have to like remember where I had it because I do like the top down angle a lot better for pencil and paper drawing. And I just need to be mindful of my hands not totally blocking the camera, you know? Breath of the Wild was your first channel point challenge game. I remember that. I actually started playing Breath of the Wild on stream because of uh, my subathon. So like sometimes it's nice to have that little, like someone says, I wanna watch you play this as just a little bit of a, an incentive, a boost. Now we're building these little pieces together.
I'm also trying to do my best to make sure I keep it like at a good angle, you know, so that you can see what what's going on, what I'm adding. See, this angle means I need to keep my desk clean. There's no other way about it. I mean, granted, I need my desk to be clean enough for me to see. Or to, like, do the Legos anyway. earlier the album we're listening to right now is stardew and chill a very good album i find it funny step 18 is literally putting this block right here that's an entire page that they drew to say this goes here like okay thanks legos i guess get that step wrong it must be important come here kitty get ready chat get ready chat get your butt out of the camera inky thank you for lurking arrow bounce Kisses. He's such a good cat. Hi, little baby. Hi. He kissed my nose. I love this cat. Now we're doing weird dowel rod things. still just gonna hang out here give himself a nice bath for coming and hanging out for some Friday Night Legos. 
And thank you so much, Shay, for being Shay and Fudge for being amazing mod support tonight. You an itchy baby. There we go. I was like, don't tell me I am missing a piece for the first time in my Lego history. That will not suffice. Goodbye, Inky. You jumping down? Goodbye. Goodbye, my boy. Lego set, Lego set, Lego set, Lego set. I made a mistake. Captions chill. It caught itself, but <laughs> it must have thought I was being very self deprecating. And I was not. I was not that bothered.
if I can find some more time soon, I have a lot of plans for making a channel trailer, because I have never had one. And I would like one. to bag number two. We're gonna make the Minecraft spoiler next. Thank you for lurking dinner. have to find the other spider legs. Don't you just hate it when your spider legs go missing? I can't stand when my spider legs go missing.
There we go. Looking a little spidery. Come on. There we go. Jump scare. Ah. Chad, I'm sorry if you're afraid of spiders. I don't like spiders. I used to be very afraid of spiders. Uh, because there was a time when I woke up, I don't know how old I was, but I woke up and there was a daddy long leg like right in front of my face when I woke up. It was awful. I didn't want to sleep in my bed. sure I didn't sleep in my uh, room that night. I like slept on the couch or something. And you know what? I still think it was the right call. one now. Oh yeah, so on top of the, um, on top of the Minecraft community games, we have a Minecraft Skyblock collab coming up as well. That's gonna happen later in August. We don't have an exact date at the moment. But I am excited for that one. It's gonna be vanilla Skyblock, meaning that, um, we're gonna have like we're gonna pre-build the map so that we have stuff that we can do and like keep it interesting. I missed a block somewhere. There it is. So yes, um, we're gonna be pre-building the map to keep things interesting. 
to make sure there's stuff to do. Cause like, if you're playing, if you've never heard of Skyblock, you start on a tree on a dirt block. That's all you get. Uh, it's a lot more fun when there are mods involved to like let you turn leaves into like compost into dirt, you know, stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have islands located around where you start, like sky islands that you have to build your way over to. And then you can use the resources on those islands. I feel like that's how most of the vanilla... Um skyblock stuff usually works but i'm looking forward to that it's going to be um with our pride craft streamers and it's because we hit our charity goal so we're celebrating with some skyblock Sorry, the camera's not too great here, huh? We're putting a weird yellow ramp block up there. And um, this top part here moves for some reason. Don't fully understand what we're building yet. I got mad whistles tonight. We're putting grass on the top. I'll narrate it since I can't really move the camera too much more. Even if it were top down, this is kind of getting to be a tall build.
am I missing a block now? Or did I just hide it somewhere by accident? The real struggle. There it is. Adding some little flowers. Happy little flowers. We're building a crafting table. Oh, this is cute. So that's all for our little cave section. I will go to just chatting later so that you can get a full view of it as I throw pieces on the ground, because why wouldn't I do that? I figured out where it went. It landed on my printer, which uh, makes it really easy to find. Oops. Sorry for hitting the mic. Looks like we're adding some lava to this cave. Who doesn't like a little lava in their cave to keep things this spicy? It's Minecraft, you have to have lava in your caves. There it is.
lava. There is lava in your cave. Tread with caution. There is lava in your cave. It's pretty much the Minecraft theme song. I was gonna say, there has to be somewhere that the lava's coming from. I don't make the rules, that's just how Minecraft works. Oh, this is page 69. Nice. I don't know if I remember other Lego sets having this many pages. Oh, it's ore blocks that we're building. I see it now. I'll show it to you then. I think we ran out of Starbound music, or Stardew music, we did. Uh, we'll go to Zelda and chill. Can't go wrong. Really can't go wrong with game chops in general. gonna show this to you so like it's like ore and we have stuff for diamond ore really I could make that other iron that I just finished making a diamond because if you're risking your life down near lava you best be finding some diamonds for it if I learned anything from my first crowd control speedrun attempt it was that it was also that eating a chorus fruit or having chat force feed you a chorus fruit while you were trying to mine diamonds was also a huge risk. Surprising no one. I'm just grateful that um, chat also decided to turn keep inventory on because otherwise I don't think that would have went super well. I would have just continually got yoked into uh lava. <gasps> Look at our little slime friend. This doesn't feel like it's lined up properly. I don't think it is. This is 100% not lined up properly. Oh, that's why it goes on the underside. There we go. Here we are. Here is our Lego set. 
in the lava You'll find some hidden diamonds Yeah, I like I don't feel like I'm going fast, but then I'm just like oh wait, I'm done already I don't know if I just like hyper fixate and I'm like yeah, this is what I want to do There's still some torches to be built. This is an interesting set in the like trick mechanic that it puts together. All right, one second. <clears throat> Here's our Lego set. So it's got the nice little zombie down in the mine shaft. You pan over, there's a slime, and um, you can move the spider wherever you want, really. It's a pretty big spider, though. Like, it's actually kind of hard to place it anywhere because it is that big. I'm gonna move the slime. Slime's gonna go for a swim. Spider's gonna... I really don't know where the spider's gonna go. It's too big! Look at how big the spider is. It's like not placeable, almost. Slime's going for a swim. Steve's up top. And then the whole trick. And this feels like a really complicated trick for dropping gravel blocks on the zombie's head, and they both just fell right to the floor. <laughs> One second. Yeah, that's the whole point of the set, is to be able to, like, set up a trap for the zombie, I guess? I hope I didn't just close out of my hand camera. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. You like the spiders stuck on the web? I figured that was a good place for him. This is also a pretty good view of it. But yeah, the whole point of that like trap mechanism is to drop the gravel blocks on the zombie head, which feels a little complicated, don't you think? Feels a little unnecessarily complicated, but that's just me. That is just me. Mm. I feel like this might be a good place to wrap. It's a nice, oh, you got, you just got back in time to see the end product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, but I think this is probably a good place for me to find someone to raid, pass the party along, because I mean, I could, I could make myself stream for another hour. I could easily play Rune Factory, but I have some Kirby comic prep to do. If you didn't know, Sunday is the start of our chat helps me write a Kirby comic. Uh, charity incentive. So 
I have a story kind of planned out with a couple of choose your own adventure marks where chat will vote on what happens or how something happens. And chat can also spend channel points to force me to cameo a character in the comic. And who knows, if I really like the character that you've picked, maybe they'll just be a part of the comic. I do at least promise to draw them as a cameo, but who knows? Uh, last charity comic took 12 hours it, and like three different streams, so I'm very excited to see what happens this time, but that will be Sunday starting at noon. And unfortunately, I do have to work tomorrow, but Kirby comic. I actually like can't wait. So here is the raid message. You can copy and paste whichever one you have access to. And I am working on a new emote. I suppose I could have worked on that, but eh, if I have to work a shift at work tomorrow, I'm okay to keep this stream a little on the shorter side. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I really do appreciate it, especially given that this was like an impromptu, I wanna finish the parkour pyramid kind of stream. We are gonna raid based Windu. Oop, because he's playing some Fall Guys. I think he's playing with viewers too. So um, get ready to pass the love and support onto Windu and figure out if you want to play Fall Guys with him. So yes, Kirby comic will be Sunday at noon. We have the Minecraft community games coming up. That will be Saturday, August 6th at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you could RSVP in the Discord, it would mean a lot. I'm just trying to get a head count for um, the team mini games, but that all you need to play along is a copy of Bedrock Minecraft. So like Switch, Xbox, uh, PlayStation 4, or Minecraft for Windows 10. And then you can do exclamation mark server to pop up the server IP and then you can join. Plenty of fun mini games to play. Uh, some like race games against two different teams trying to collect items, some parkour, some spleef, lots of fun. So with all that being said, keep going and growing. I will see you guys Sunday for the Kirby comic. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.